same story now multiple militants from gaza have now entered israeli territory the israel defense for, uh, forces which is idf said that shortly after the barrage of rockets left one person dead and at least three injured as well so since we are talking about this attack coming in from gaza on israel multiple militants from gaza have now entered israeli territory the israel defense forces which is idf on saturday said that shortly after a barrage of rockets left one person dead and at least three injured uh, we are going back to cnn news 18 siddhant who continues to be with us on the phone line siddhant we are showing the terrifying visuals on uh, our viewers screen as well could you tell us more about the information that we just broke for our viewers one person has been uh, killed and one, uh, three of them are currently injured well yes that's right if if it's coming from idf and this is what my other colleagues have been reporting uh, so as as we were talking uh, 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 sakshi that the, the situation it's, it's a full blown war situation uh, in in israel and perhaps you see that that even the soldiers have lost their lives some of them have been captured uh, the others have got injured so it's it's a very it's a very uh, dangerous situation for the government of israel for the forces uh, israeli forces and as as we were we were we were pointing out that that would be interesting to see that how are they going to counter this how are they going to neutralize these infiltrators and what sort of methods are going to be put in place by the israeli forces is something which would be interesting uh, to see because as i mentioned it's very rare it's very unprecedented that such a uh, level of infiltration has taken place iron drome has gone uh, malfunction more than 500 rockets have been launched into the israeli territory there is a huge damage of property and lives uh, we don't have a number but uh, maybe in some time from now we'll get more confirmation on the critical locations which have been targeted by uh, hamas so so you know is there, this has this has uh, you know angered israel and perhaps uh, uh, and and there is there is not going to be a u turn sakshi trust me you know as far as i know israel is going to come out in the most strongest manner uh, you, know, um, you know when it comes to responding to the hamas and 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 and, it, and there's not there's not going to be a u turn and and you know and 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 we should be more worried about the overall peace and uh, stability of west asia given there were a lot of efforts uh, uh, have already been made for the peace talks uh, to make sure that the countries like saudi arabia which back the palestine and israel come together do something constructive even both sides have shown willingness to come together both benjamin netanyahu and mohammed bin salman both have shown uh, you know willingness to come together and and you know some for some sort of an understanding now now those peace efforts those peace talks are going to get 